Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the transfer characteristic of the 8-bit ADC and we have been given that the input voltage range of this ADC is from 0 to plus 5 volt. So here, we have been asked to find the digital output code for the given input. So first of all, for this 8-bit ADC, let us find its resolution. So as you know, the resolution can be given as this full scale output voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 where the n is the number of bits of the ADC. So here since the input voltage is from 0 to 5 volt so we can say that its full scale output voltage is equal to 5 volt. Therefore the resolution is equal to 5 volt divided by 2 to the power 8 minus 1 that is equal to 5 divided by 255 and if we calculate the value then this resolution will come out as 19.6 millivolt. So this resolution is also known as the step size. So basically the step size represents the size of the each step. So it shows that when the input voltage changes by this amount then how the output code will change. So typically if you see the transfer characteristic of the ADC then this is how it will look like. That means when the input is 0, then the output code is also 0. And when the input voltage changes by one step size, then the output code will also change by a 1 bit. So that is why this step size is also represented as the LSB. So this one LSB represents the change in the input, which will cause the change in the output code by a 1 bit. And therefore, this resolution is also represented in terms of the LSB. So for example, if the input is equal to 5 LSB, then it means that the input is equal to 5 times resolution or in this case that is equal to 5 times 19.6 millivolt. That means on the horizontal axis, we can also represent these inputs in terms of the LSB. So here, this first 19.6 millivolt corresponds to 1 LSB and likewise, we will have the other steps. So this is how the standard transfer characteristic of the ADC will look like. But here, if you see the transfer characteristic of the given ADC, then it is left shifted by a 0.5 LSB. Because here, this one LSB corresponds to 19.6 millivolt. And if we divide that value by 2, then that corresponds to 9.8 millivolt. That means here, this transfer characteristic is right shifted by a 0.5 LSB. So therefore, if we represent the input, in terms of the LSB, then this is how it will look like. That means as you can see, when the input voltage changes by a 0.5 LSB, then the output code will go from 00 to 01H. And after that, when the input changes by a 1 LSB, then there will be a transition in the output code. So in the normal transfer characteristic, if the input voltage, let's say it is equal to 1.8 LSB, or roughly over here, then the corresponding output code will be equal to 0, 01. That means in the normal transfer characteristic, when the input voltage is between 1 LSB and the 2 LSB, then the output code will correspond to 0, 01. Likewise, when the input is between the 2 and the 3 LSB, then the output code will be corresponding to 0, 02H. And likewise, we will get the corresponding output codes. But here, for the given transfer characteristic, when the input code is between 0.5 to 1.5 LSB, then the corresponding output code is equal to 0, 01. Likewise, when the input is between 1.5 LSB and 2.5 LSB, then the corresponding output code is equal to 0, 02. And likewise, here we will get the corresponding output code. So basically, here the entire transfer characteristic has been right shifted by a 0.5 LSB. So here, first of all, let us represent the input voltage in terms of the LSB. And from that, we can easily find the corresponding output code. So here, this input voltage is equal to 1.0085 volt. So in terms of the LSB, we can represent this input voltage as 1.0085 divided by 19.6 millivolt. And that corresponds to 51.45 LSB or we can say that 
the number of steps is equal to 51.45. So here, since the input voltage is between 50.5 LSB and 51.5 LSB, so we can say that the corresponding output code will be equal to 51. So this 51 is basically in the decimal. So now we need to convert it into the hexadecimal. So if you convert it into the hexadecimal, then this 51 corresponds to 33H. That means here for the given input voltage, the corresponding output code will be equal to 33H. And therefore, for the given question, this B is the correct answer.